name is Mr Fox, I'm the Head of English here at Beckett Keys Church of England School. I also teach A-Level Media Studies and I'd like to spend a bit of time this morning talking to you about the course. So A-Level Media is a course that has been running for the past four years and it's become an ever more popular course with many of our students. A lot of students that show an initial interest often ask, what is Media Studies? Why is it so important in the modern world? And if we think about it, a lot of what we do on a daily basis is informed by the media whether it's a news item that's reported, whether it's using a social media platform, whether it's looking at how individuals and social groups are represented, the media play a huge role in influencing us um, culturally. Um, in terms of course requirements, there is no prerequisite for you to have studied media studies at GCSE, although it is advantageous. What we do look for are solid GCSEs in English language, because this is a subject that requires analytical skill, extended writing and in the same way you might deconstruct a text in an English lesson you're doing the same with with a media text whether it's moving image or print the skills are very very similar when we think about career opportunities and what uh, a level in media studies might lead to um, obviously people who pursue the journalistic route and have an interest in the media that way um, will often have uh, media studies um, at a level Equally, if you're looking at things like production, editing, actually going into the world of media, again, this is a really good um, starting point for you. So, In terms of how the course is laid out, one of the big differences with A-level media studies to GCSE media studies is the level of theoretical framework. So this isn't just a course where uh, you're producing things and editing things, but you're looking at the actual um, theoretical aspects of the course too. So we'll be researching many critics and looking at things like media language. So how do producers of media convey meaning in their texts? We'll look at things like lighting, codes of dress, use of colour, maybe audio codes, technical codes, what's the camera doing, uh, visual codes. So thinking about things like um, what, what you see on screen, the mise-en-scene. Representation is another fascinating area, so looking at how particular groups or individuals are represented, uh, whether that's gender, ethnicity, age, whether it's a particular um, regional representation or global representation, for instance. Media industry is another interesting aspect of the course, looking at how things are produced, uh, distributed, um, economical factors that determine uh, how media conglomerates operate, and we'll also look at audiences. So how audiences are targeted, um, how particular psychographics or demographics, um, again, receive a text and consumer text. And it blends itself quite nicely with subjects such as psychology and sociology, because we will examine uh, human behavior and how people consume media texts. In terms of the exam or the assessment in general, there are two um, exams. The first exam is around two hours and 15 minutes. Uh, you'll be examined on some set texts, so things like advertising, newspapers, uh, music video and computer games, as well as radio. And alongside that, there will be an unseen element to the, um, to the exam as well. So you'll be tested on a media text that you haven't seen before. Um, that exam does require, again, some skill in terms of extended writing um, and essay planning. Uh, the second of the exams is a three-part exam, two, two hours and 30 minutes in length. Uh, you'll be tested here on set products, television in the modern age, um, magazines as well as online media. And this exam will require you to make comparisons across your selected texts in three extended essays. The final uh, piece of the jigsaw is the non-exam assessment or the coursework. Um, this is one of the things that many students look forward to when they embark upon A-level media studies. This will be your opportunity to plan, um, produce and edit your own piece of uh, media. The key here is that you're producing two products and you're trying to show what we call digital convergence between the two. That, that is that the two products work alongside each other. So it may be that you create a music video and alongside that a web page to market uh, the artist or band. So this is where students can really get into uh, creating things, uh, producing things, and you'll think about everything you've built upon up to this point in terms of media language, representation, um, industry and audience. 
So fusing all of those skills together and your prior knowledge to create a final media product which is worth 30% of your overall A-level. And this is where in the past I've seen some, seen some absolutely brilliant work and people have used this as a platform to go on and produce their own media. So if you have any further questions, feel free to, to send those in to any questions at beckettkeys.org or equally contact myself, Mr. Fox, or Mrs. Tag, uh, or Mr. Hogg, who also run the media department here. Thank you.